So one of the largest university collections in the world yep. is right here in the center of Tempe, yep. at the center of ASU's du Tempe du campus. Du yep. Why don't people know about this place? It's a hidden gem. <laughs> it's a hidden gem. I love this woman. You are too. You're going to, I promise you. Okay, so it is an Arizona hidden gem, and it's home to a rare inspirational experience for innovators of the future to help make life better right here on Earth. The That'll, big ones, the, right? The, yeah. The big ones. Your, your typical movie meteorite yes, is one exactly, of those large exactly. iron cores. The meteorite gallery at Arizona State University is home to one of the largest university-based collections in the world. This one is one um, people like to make jewelry out of. And this spectacular Arizona hidden gem was founded in 1961. Some were donated, others were found. We definitely have ones you can touch that are four and a half billion years old. It takes millions of years to make the difficult journey. Most don't survive falling through our atmosphere. I saw that this one's from South Dakota. Yep. And it has a name, Faith. And they are named the name for comes. where they land. They're just heavier for their size. Rhonda Stroud, director of the Busek Center for Meteorite Studies, tells me each one delivers a message full of ancient clues tied to our solar system. And by studying them in the microscope, we can understand why Earth became a whole planet, how we got carbon, how life evolved on Earth, and why it didn't evolve on other planets. She's a materials physicist and planetary scientist who knows how to make science fun. Tell me about this one. <laughs> this one's got a happy birthday cone on I it. Was <laughs> I was wondering. I was wondering. You know, that's the thing. There's a lot of uh, humor around here. Is Arizona known for having an unusual number of meteorites? An unusual number of finds, not an unusual number of meteorites, but because we have so much desert, uh, they're well preserved and easy to spot. That's if you're lucky enough to find one, and you'll learn how to do that here. This is another oh. kind of exhibit to show you what it might look like if you were out on a hike and trying yeah. to find a meteorite. They could come here and train their eye or figure out, compare. You could bring your own rock and, and look at it compared to these and see how it was. Or you could come here before you went on a hike so that you knew what you were looking for when you went out on a hike. Thanks to Arizona's investment in space exploration, the Meteorite Gallery at ASU is something we can all claim as our own. All of um, these samples are available to the public in general. The whole collection is owned by the state of Arizona. This belongs to all of us. I mean, isn't that cool? Right? Who knew? Um, she's just a neat lady. So tomorrow, she's going to be out there with a lot of other people because ASU is hosting its Earth and Space Exploration Day. I was asking, maybe I'm just you know geeking out because I just love this kind of thing. But this is one of those places I think we can all really enjoy. You can hold that space rock too. Enjoy a 3D, 3D astronomy show and see a replica of the Curiosity Mars rover. All the fun starts at 10 a.m. It lasts till 2. We posted everything you need to know. It's up right now. ABC15.com, Iris.